All right, so one of my all-time favorite platformers right here, Donkey Kong Country. This was one of Rare's first games, I believe, and they absolutely killed it on this one with that, um, what's it called, already pre-rendered sprites or something, and it just looked amazing for the SNES, you know, and that's what really did it, is how it looked, how it felt, the music in this game. I've done a lot of research on the music, especially that underwater theme man it's just so nostalgic and this whole game is just amazing so let's get on into the box art here you got the donkey kong country logo up there lots of action in this artwork i love it you got donkey kong there stealing bananas you got these little rodents and this what is that a rhino diddy kong there so much good action i hate these bumblebees man i hate them. but you know overall love this box art Top side, nothing too special there, just the logo. Let's check out the back here. Some screenshots for you there. And here's the description. It's a 3D gorilla thriller. Wowzers, sounds amazing. The cherry on the cake is that it's two player. You can take turns and sit down with a friend and have a lot of fun with this game. Let's check out the inside here. Of course, you got the cartridge, and behind it there, got the instruction manual and a couple of inserts there. Free Donkey Kong Country Player's Guide offer. Wow. Let's take a look at that. Oh, yeah. Love those Nintendo powers. Here's the instruction booklet. Skim through this real quick. Look at that storyline. It was a dark and stormy night. Damn. Ooh, this is really cool. I love what they did with this instruction. Nice, you know, look at these colors, these big words, these explosion looking words. Diddy Kong, look at this, this is amazing. Barrels and kegs, a lot of detail, a lot of good um, editing going on in these instruction manuals. Damn, look at that Donkey Kong Atlas. Your trusty animal friends. This also, I forgot about this. You know, you meet a few animals and they give you a little bit of power-ups and stuff, which is a really nice addition to the game. And that's about it for the instruction manual. Let's take a look at this cart. Whoa. Let's take a look at this cartridge right here. Take that off. Same artwork. There's your circuit board. Pretty big one. Takes up the whole cartridge pretty much. Let's get on to a quick review. Alrighty, Donkey Kong Country booting up. One of the most epic intros, definitely in my top 10, right here. Just wait for the beat to drop. Hell yeah, here's DK, he's like, what's up haters? We're gonna get right into it here. Donkey Kong Country. Shout out to my man Eddie Dizon. We recently played through this. All three games actually beat them all. You know, a lot of good times doing that with a friend. So, get right into it here. One thing to note, I got both controllers here. I'm going to swap in between DK and Diddy Kong. So, here we go. Already smashing these kids with TNT. Diddy Kong there. Bam. Uh, a lot of hidden uh, little barrels like this down here. Little hidden items. Look at this a tire. You can push along. So, so many cool, cool aspects to this game. Another hidden barrel there. Brings us to a little side mini game here. Boom. Easy. Easy as that. Won that mini game. We call them mini games, side games, bonus games, whatever you want to call, but there's a lot of those packed into this game, which is just very, very smart from the team there. And you know, they added a lot of thing a lot of replayability in this game. So if you don't get that hundred percent, you can go back and do that if it's what you want to do. Or you can rip through the levels real quick. Like me. I'm just ripping through them here. Don't really care about completion at this point in time. Woo! Woo! 
That was just phenomenal. No! Oh, that's really annoying. This game can get uh, frustrating at times, to say the least. Especially when you know you're right at the end of the level. You mess up like that. Die. I hate these snakes so much. You gotta time. Some good timing in this game. You can roll through enemies, I remember. Like that. Yes! See? That helps you out a little bit. Sometimes you gotta use uh, some abilities. Look at that. No, nope, no chance I'm going for that. Oh man, my heart is pounding. Just beating those levels feeling feels so accomplishing. On to the next one. Oh shit. Shit, shit, man. I wasn't ready for that. We're on a boss battle already. I don't think I'm ready for this, man. So this one you just gotta dodge that shit and then hit him in the head. Gonna wait. Aha, I got him. Oh man, just jumped right into that one. It's alright, it's alright, that was a warm up. Ah, got him. I wonder how many times you gotta hit this guy. Pop, die. He's got to be dead soon. Yes, I did it. Right, I think I'll do one more. It's pretty much the same stuff, just different levels. This level is awesome. I really enjoy this level's soundtrack. Probably my second favorite to the aquatic theme. And this level on a whole is just a lot of fun. Look at this. <laughs> Not much fun. <sighs> that was a fail. Alright, well. I think that's a safe place to call it a day. So yeah, this game is just phenomenal. Everything about it just perfection. I'm just going to go ahead and review it real quick. I'm giving this game a 10 out of 10 for a game in the early to mid 90s what early probably early 90s just one hell of a masterpiece here and to be honest the whole series is amazing number two might even be better than this one so hope you enjoyed the video guys please subscribe and we'll see you next time